The overall goal of this procedure is to coat the surface of the silica microsphere optical resonator with biotin through a covalent attachment process without degrading the sensitivity of the device. This is accomplished by a three-step process beginning with hydroxylation using oxygen plasma or piranha etchant. Hydroxylation is followed by emanation through vapor deposition of a silane coupling agent. Then biotinylation is carried out using NHS ester chemistry to link the valeric side chain of biotin to the primary amines on the resonator surface. Ultimately, this method creates an optical biosensor that is both highly sensitive and specific for a molecule of interest and could be modified further through fluorescent labeling of amine-terminated silica, as well as through the avatin-biotin complexation method to create a biosensor platform for a wide array of potential targets. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods of surface functionalization, such as physical absorption, is that our probe molecule is covalently attached, which makes our sensors more robust and reliable. This means that they can be stored for longer periods of time and still retain their use, and they remain highly sensitive after functionalization. Generally, individuals new to this method will struggle because of the difficulty in handling the micro-sized devices throughout the functionalization process. Poor handling technique is the easiest way to degrade the optical performance of the sensor and to generate contamination on the sensor surface. Using scissors, cut a one quarter inch thick piece of cardboard into a one inch by one inch square. Tape this onto a standard glass slide and attach a one inch section of rolled scotch tape to the cardboard. This creates a platform on which the microsphere can be elevated and isolated from the surrounding environment and prevents damage to its surface. Using scissors, cut a three inch section of optical fiber from the spool.